I sometimes find out way later when my guy had an issue with something I said or something I did. He tells me that it bothered him a month or so later. How should I deal with this? I wish he would just tell me at the time so I'd be aware of it. But maybe the relationship is so new he doesn't feel comfortable telling me. We've only been talking six months. Yeah, I get it. And I'm imagining that him not telling you might manifest in some type of passive aggressiveness too, possibly. Um, most likely he, he may not have, there's two things that could be happening or a combination of both of them, or maybe there's something that I'm missing completely. Uh, but in, from my thoughts, um, he either doesn't feel empowered to communicate with, this could be partly because of his own past. He may not have a lot of experience uh, communicating uh, his boundaries or his needs or where he's feeling uh, like he's got a problem. Uh, he may not know how to do that. So he may be minimizing himself until suddenly he can't minimize himself any longer and then it comes out later. Uh, and or there could be a, um, a dynamic in your relationship where uh, there isn't the space for him to communicate these things. So I'm curious as to how receptive you are uh, to hearing these things and to hearing this kind of feedback. Does it, does it hit deep? Do you tend to emotionally react to it? Uh, do you tend to shut down or um, get angry with him when these things get revealed? Uh, it's said another way, is there an environment of, where there's a lack of safety that you're uh, creating or contributing to that might be having him feel tentative about sharing uh, boundary violations with you. Uh, one thing the two of you could do is uh, make an effort to connect every week and just actually have a check-in on how things are going. Um, it could be, it's kind of like doing the laundry, doing the relationship laundry. Um, you know, what, uh, what do you guys appreciate about each other? Can we start out there? And another simple question could be, what would you like to see more of? All right, what do you guys appreciate? What's working? And then the next one would be, uh, what would you like to see more of? Now notice, I'm not saying what is missing, right? There's an, there's an eloquence to that question. What would you like to see more of? Uh, that has you create what you want rather than judge what is not there. And that makes a really big difference in communication in uh in the in the in the ability to be on a team um rather than throwing judgments back and forth hey and if you enjoyed that video i want to invite you to become a member of our becoming the one community for only one dollar right now that is a community of about 700 women who are committed to their own personal growth path in the realm of relationships and becoming the type of woman who can attract the man that they desire so often we hear dating gurus saying that this stuff is simple and easy and that there's a silver bullet for it. And there's not. And if you believe the lie that it is simple and easy to start creating healthy relationships, then you might end up feeling like there's something wrong with you. And I'm here to say that there's nothing wrong with you because creating healthy relationships, especially if you didn't have the best models growing up or the best experiences with men up until this point, it takes work. And that's what the Becoming the One community is about. It's about doing all the work on your side of the fence to create a healthy relationship with yourself, with the way that you think, with how you show up in the presence of men so that you can create relationships that last. So for $1 right now, you can join the community. Click the link below this video. You'll get access to module one, which is designed to begin help you dancing with and gracefully removing the negative self-talk that often plagues women in the realm of love and relationships. And my teaching partner, Jack Butler, and I also do live streams twice a month where we can answer your specific challenges and questions that you have around dating and relationships and personal growth. So once again, click on the link below this video. It's $1 right now, and we will see you in the community.